Hi friends, and welcome to my magical Get Ready With Me. Today I decided to start a new series where I would get ready based on a different goddess. So I chose Freya, and um, I'm going to show you guys how to transform into Freya using glamour magic. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a Pinterest mood board. Um, I already know quite a bit about Freya, so this isn't necessary, but I wanted to show you because this is something I'll definitely be doing with other goddesses who I'm not super familiar with. Um, you can just create a board, make it private, and what I'm doing is just choosing different pictures um, that kind of just feel like the vibe that I'm going for. Um, so I'm going to look at some different tattoos, some different art pieces, and really just anything that speaks to me. Even this is just like someone random and I was like, yeah, I kind of want to do that. So really allow yourself to just go crazy and choose whatever kind of feels interesting. So once my board is ready, I'll just kind of keep it around so I can have that inspiration on hand as we get into the glamour portion. So the first thing that I want to do is set a good vibe. So I'm all about lighting candles, having incense going. I'm lighting a pink candle for Freya because that is one of her correspondences and pink is also the color of love and beauty. So I'm really just gonna play into the senses and get started with some perfume. And on that note, I will hand you off to today's collaboration. So, so I want to tell you guys about this amazing perfume brand, Dossier. I'm so thankful because I'm collaborating with them today for this video. And I have these amazing fragrances to show you. And I'm literally so excited because I've been obsessed with them since I've tried them, like they're so amazing. So if you don't know, Dossier is a perfume brand that uses natural fragrances that don't upset your sensitive skin because let me tell you, I have sensitive skin and that was something on my high priority. So they're vegan and they're cruelty free, which I love and they're paraben free and I never can say this word, phthalate free. So they're very good for those of you with sensitive skin, those of you who care about what you put on your body, most of us. So I've never been someone who's wanted to spend a ton of money on perfumes because I just feel like that's not, that's not it for me. So when I found out about Dossier and they sent me some stuff to try out, I was so excited because they literally do smell like their high-end counterparts. I got a couple a couple of months ago and the fragrances that it was themed after, I didn't have those and I had never tried them. So I made sure this time around that I got one that I had the inspiration perfume of. So I'm so excited because the one that I got is Ambry Vanilla. This is amazing, okay? And it's themed after YSL's Black Opium, which was gifted to me a couple years ago by my sister-in-law, and it's so good. Like, they're so similar. And let me tell you, because I know that I'm weird about like describing scents and I'm like, I have such a hard time with it, but I can describe the vibe, okay? Because I would always wear black opium to be like my like seductress, like nighttime, like really, really sexy scent. Like it's a very sexy smell. And of course I'm like, this is a million dollars. I don't want to use it all. So this, I'm using this every day, you guys. So I'm using this today because when I think about f like Freya's smell, what would she smell like? I think that she is gonna smell beautiful and sexy. And of course, Amber is like associated with her, so I wanted to use that as well. Amber and Vanilla are both associated with Freya, so that's kind of why this one was like a no-brainer, but I love to mix them. This literally smells just like it, and the average perfume by Dossier is like $29, as opposed to $50 to like $300 in a typical retail. I don't even know how much the YSL one was, but... You can get a tattoo with that kind of money. And the second fragrance that I got today um, is Fruity Magnolia, and this is so good. This is inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal. Now, the other one is like very like seductress type of like energy, very like warm, sweet, sexy. This, this is more floral and bright. So mixing them, you know what I'm saying? I love it. Yeah, this one reminds me a lot of spring. And so that's kind of why I thought these two, like the amber vanilla kind of represents like the very, um, like warm and luring and seductress enchantress energy with the amber and the vanilla and then the fruity magnolia is like the springtime the maiden energy all that stuff so i think it's a perfect combo so i'm obsessed with these 
Um, and I do have a coupon code for you guys if you would like to try your own. They're also always having sales. It's very common that if you go on there, they'll be doing like, buy two, get this much percent off. It's like, they're always doing sales on top of already being super affordable. And I will hook you guys up with that coupon code as well so that if you want some, you can smell just like me and Freya. But if you don't like your scent, if you order one and it's not what you were thinking, you can always return it and exchange it for free. It's super easy. And they actually donate the ones that get returned to charity. So I think that's super awesome. And also all of their packaging is 100% recyclable. So that's a win for me, seriously. So thank you so much, Dossier, for collaborating with me on this video. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you guys, because you guys helped me out so, so much. So thank you to everybody. Um, definitely check out Dossier and Tell me if you get any perfume, let me know what you get. I'll try to smell like you, we'll get the same stuff. Alrighty, welcome back guys. So we're gonna start with the makeup. For the makeup look, I was kind of honestly just going with the flow. But one thing that I want to tell you guys about is that I was actually uh, drawing in specific runes with my primer and my foundation. Um, you know, they're not perfect, right? <laughs> but it's the intention that counts. So that's a little something that you can bring into your makeup routine. You can do like a pentacle, different runes, different sigils, different symbols um, that are important to you for protection or whatever you're trying to get. But I mean, that's just a little quick way to enchant your makeup. Um, as far as my base makeup, oh, I'm jamming out. I was listening to Willow. I don't know what to tell you guys, um, but yeah. <laughs> So as far as the base makeup goes, I am just going pretty like simple, just like my everyday routine. Um, foundation and concealer, there was nothing really important. But getting into the contour was when I was like, okay, this is something that is very specific that I want to do. So I feel like whenever I think of like strong Nordic goddesses, I think of really um, chiseled faces. So I wanted to really make sure that I do a nice contour really hollowing out the cheeks and getting that jawline snatched and then just going over the top of it with some powdered bronzer and um, yeah, just setting it that way. Going into the eyebrows, I am just brushing them up with some mascara and this is just how I do my eyebrows. Again, I don't think that when I was thinking of Freya, I was like, I don't think her eyebrows are like the number one thing I'm thinking about, um, but I just went with like my typical everyday eyebrow routine maybe a little bushier because you know thinking of the earth thinking of old times you know what i mean i did want it to be really particular with the blush because i do think that springtime fertility goddesses i think of blush like really flushed cheeks and highlight as well because highlight is also just like really dewy and youthful so I do think blush and highlight are um, kind of important for this look. So getting started on the eyes, I wanted to do a really nice smoky eyeshadow. So I'm starting with just this medium to light brown shade that I'm just dragging out pretty far and then going into the crease with a medium to dark brown shade and um, doing a little bit less but still taking it out um, across the lash line. And I wanted to do that medium dark shade on the bottom lash line as well because I kind of wanted it to have this like smoky effect. And then I'm just adding this like dark brown color as a sort of eyeliner and blending it out and then just doing that repeatedly forever. And now I'm going in with this sort of mauve shade. And honestly, you could have probably just started here because um, it's the same thing that we did before. It's just a lighter shade um, in the crease and then taking a darker shadow on the lash line. And of course, I had to have some gold eyeshadow. I feel like that's so necessary. And I wanted to elongate the lash line with liner to kind of just give a very like feminine effect and mascara. So this is the eye look. I feel like it's really cute, very springy, uh, making sure to jam out every now and then. And let me tell you, choosing the lip color was kind of a challenge. I was so confident about this lip color, but it was a little bit too cool toned for what I was going for. Beautiful lip color. I love it, but it was not vibing. So I tried this lipstick and it only made it worse. I was like, damn. 
<laughs> but then I found this. This is the Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I put this over kind of just lightened it up and warmed it up a little bit too and I think it came out to be the perfect shade. So now I'm contemplating lashes and I'm also hyping up my lash game. I'm like, I can do it. I'm super good at lashes. Yeah. Um, so I choose lashes. What you guys don't see is all the times I failed. <laughs> Use lashes at your own risk. I think they're beautiful and I think they add a lot to the look, but uh, yeah, also don't do that. That was not a good move. <laughs> So this is the finished look and I love it. Okay guys, so makeup is all done and now it's onto the hair. And I think that I'm a little bit more sure of what I'm gonna do with the hair. I feel like the makeup was very impromptu. Just kind of went with the vibe of what I was feeling and what I know. But I know that with my hair, I'm gonna wanna do some braids. Um, if you use heat on your hair and you're doing something like this, you can absolutely like curl your hair. I always think of like wavy hair. So I braided my hair last night, and it's still kind of wavy, but it's not that wavy. But I don't really use heat on my hair, so I'm not going to do anything like that. But I am going to put some braids in. I'm probably going to go with middle part, because that's just what I do. So one thing that I do, I'll put a picture here of like a nice, typical Nordic braid that I do that's so easy. Um, I just do like half my hair up and then braid it down. And I think that's really nice, because it keeps the hair out of your face, and it's just really pretty. But I think today I'm going to do another one of my faves, which is where I have maybe like one here, one underneath, and then something similar on the same side, on the opposite side, so that there's just like kind of braids throughout, really like messy and tousled, you know what I'm saying? So nothing crazy except for braids. If you have like feathers, like if I used to have a feather clip-in extension when I was in middle school, but if you have something like that, I think that looks so cool for this. I don't have anything like that. <laughs> One thing that I do kind of like doing for these when they're like really supposed to be messy is I don't braid them all the way down. I braid them, my hair is pretty long, so I mean it'll depend on how long your hair is, but I leave a good couple of inches because it makes it look really just, I don't know, it gives this like really natural, like outdoorsy forest woman vibe. I don't know. I love it. And now I'm just gonna take the braid apart, kind of. I just take the sides and pull them out. Don't like hurt yourself or anything. <laughs> but like, this just makes them look bigger, fuller, but it also makes them look a little bit more tousled. I don't like looking too, <laughs> I don't like looking too put together. <laughs> so there's one. Look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? I think that's just really nice and it's just kind of random. It looks really cool. And so I might do a tiny one, a tiny one up top maybe. So I had two ideas for the outfit. The first one was this. This is a really pretty dress. It's one of my favorites. It's a little bit short. Um, it's pretty low neck and it's got these really pretty white flowers on it. I know that the colors that I wanna go for are something either cream colored or rose colored, pink, red, green, beige, all that. And I was kind of just playing with the energy. So this was my first thought, but I think this is too flowy. You know what I mean? For what I'm feeling, because today, let me show you what I'm feeling. It's a little messed up now, but it's this, this jumpsuit is like an under the bust, tight black jumpsuit with this high neck pink shirt underneath. It's totally messed up now, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? And I think it's like, it's really sexy with the pink and it's under the bust. So it's really gonna accentuate the boobalas. So it's gonna be very sexy, but it's like also like I'm mean business and I can still kick your ass in this outfit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I think that we need that duality for Freya. Like, yes, she's love goddess, but she's also the goddess of war. So she needs to be able to kick some people's ass. So I think this is perfect. So I'm gonna try it on, see how it, see how it looks. Okay, you guys, this is, this is an insane look. I'm so into this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I hope you guys can see the vibe. It's 
this jumpsuit. It looks like I mean business, okay? I, yeah, I like this. I actually got this jumpsuit on ThreadUp and I did want to mention that because something I haven't talked about that I have recently um, started doing and that's really important in my life is that I don't really buy new clothes anymore. It's super rare if I do. Um, I buy almost all of my clothes on either ThreadUp, Mercari, or Depop because it's just like used clothes and it's cheaper and it's more sustainable. And I used to be really addicted to stores like Misguided and Fashion Nova. This sounds like an ad. This isn't an ad, okay? <laughs> this is literally just me. Um, but I did. I used to love Fashion Nova and Misguided. And then I learned about fast, fa fast fashion. And so luckily I missed the Shein phase because I was already like pretty anti-fast fashion at that point. And so yeah, I got this off of thread of Honestly, girl, guy, whoever, this is cute. I don't remember how much it was, but um, it was pretty affordable. Probably like $15. And yeah, so that's the vibe. Now we gotta think about jewelry because I have this. I'm obviously wearing my amber necklace. If you guys don't know, I bought this necklace like as a token of Freya and amber is kind of like her thing. So always on me and we're gonna keep that on here, but I'm gonna add some more things because we've got a lot of like space here to put things on and I think stacking would be really cute. So I have a couple of necklaces that I immediately thought of that I think would be really pretty. This first one is a Nordic symbol, so I feel like I kind of have to, you know what I mean? And that's a nice long one, so I think that will be really, um, that'll like balance everything really well because a lot of my necklaces are about the same length which makes it kind of hard to stack them. But yeah, that guy's nice and long. Cool, so I've got two others, I don't, three others. I don't think we're gonna be able to fit them all, but this malachite, it actually falls like right about there. So it kind of just looks like my amber's attached to the malachite. And malachite's another crystal that is connected to um, goddess energy, especially like earth or fertility goddesses. So if you're like doing something with that, Malachite's a great crystal to have, and also it's bringing in some of that green, which I think is kind of like a little needed, because we're going pretty hardcore with the pink. So yeah, it kind of just fits right there. I think it does pretty good. So the other two, I don't know if they're gonna... I don't think... I think the rose one will... Well, maybe not. Let's try. Yeah, I think that's good. I actually kind of like that. There's a lot going on, and I think it's nice, and a good... Um, I think it's good that there's a lot happening here. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun bringing this look to you. Um, let me know what goddess you want me to recreate next and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye.